this is Jal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about derivation of bending equation that's right so basically before going to share with you it's derivation really simple it will take even not even 10 minutes to learn but I'm going to share with you few assumptions of bending equation before going to share with you derivation first is the material we are going to uh, consider for driving bending equation that should be homogeneous homogeneous and of course isotropic homogeneous and isotropic and second it must obey Hooke's law third I must say that it uh, its cross section will not change frequently cross section will not change frequently fourth one is the most important thing that is the beam must not twist while loading you can see there you can say that must not twist while loading right so these are few assumptions where well, other than these we, we can assume uh, things also but yeah uh, one more assumption I must say that this is just like Hooke's law elastic limit the beam must be in elastic limit so it's about Hooke's law only so these are major assumptions of bending equation I mean uh, for deriving bending equation the beam must fall follow this uh, thing I mean the, the beam must be follow this number beam must be Hooke's law uh, uh, follow away Hooke's law and uh, the beam must be homogeneous and isotropic its cross section will not change frequently and must not twist while loading so these are assumptions just like so now what we are going to do we are going to derive the equation okay so here is the equation for bending equation okay suppose that we got it here and that pen is not working yeah so this one we got this line and okay suppose that this one is it and okay this one is the line this one is the line another line is here another line is here okay so let's say this is a dash b dash this is a b this is c d this is e f okay so we are getting this a dash b dash because of compression suppose that e f is the uh, i mean you know this is the thing a uh, simple line okay this is the neutral line you can say this is the line and this is the position of the beam when it is not loaded then a b a b is the intention and we are getting this as a uh, as a line through this line we will drive the equation just like so from here to here we are saying it's r its angle is d theta and from here to here we are saying the change in length because of this beam uh, that is y so it is touch with here once you will understand this diagram once you will come to know how to this, uh, draw this diagram it's really simple you can see here then what you have to do you have to go through a simple formula that we have studied in class 10th d theta is equal to l by r so here what is r r is equal to capital r dl is equal to here we are considering dl is equal to ef so we can write the same equation that is d theta is equal to ef by r then we can also write ef is equal to uh, EF is equal to R D theta. Sorry, EF is equal to R D theta. Simple. Now, one thing is clear there that if because of somehow load, if it's it's uh, you know radius is changing from here to here, from here to here, that that means you know that means we can say this that you know what is happening here basically. What is happening here? It's uh, because of loading. Its radius is changing, right? So we can say this as that uh, d theta is equal to d theta is equal to c d by r plus y. We can say this. Now what will happen? C d is equal to c d is equal to d theta r plus y. Okay, I hope you got it. Now we got two equation: equation two and equation one. Now what we are going to do? We are going to just subtract from equation equation two minus equation one. 
now what we got cd minus cd minus ef is equal to d theta r plus y d theta minus r d theta r d theta r d theta get cancelled now what we got cd minus ef is equal to y d theta okay now if we'll divide this by ef and i will also divide this ef then we can say that from this equation what that d theta by ef is equal to what 1 by r if i'll send cross if i'll do cross multiplication then we can say that y by r okay because here d theta by ef is equal to 1 by r so what we did in place of this we have put this value so what is this basically what is this basically this is a strain changing length by original length and uh, this strain is why this strain is happening because of some kind of load now as i have shared with you in the beginning of the video that we have to assume that this we must uh, must follow hooke's law so if it is following hooke's law it is also telling that within the elastic limit within the elastic limit and i have also said that the beam will be in elastic limit okay beam will be in elastic limit so within the elastic limit stress is directly proportional to strain so it should be proportional to 1 by r because here strain is equal to y by r and stress is sigma so sigma is equal to e y by r so we can say that sigma by y is equal to e by r from here we can say that sigma by y is equal to e by r so one part the, of the equation we have been derived till now and probably you know the bending equation which is most useful that is sigma by y is equal to e by r we got till now okay now what we have to go we have to do we have to get the another part of this equation what is that let me share with you just keep moving so i have to get the another page okay yes now what exactly doing we have to find out moment of resistance and for this we have to take a neutral axis suppose that it's a b and we have to take a part a single a cross section part and its distance from here to here is y let's say that's and distance this is happening because of you know uh, because of it's uh, it's changing length okay okay so that's because of happening i mean it is happening because of that only changing in length okay now what we'll find out moment of resistance that is m we have to find out because till now we have find out one of the relation now we have to find out the other relation which is also important now what we what actually what we got till now sigma y y is equal to e by r right so what you know moment of resistance we know moment of resistance is equal to y sigma da now we can write sigma is equal to y e by r so y into y e by r into da so y by e by r is constant here y square da now we can say y square da what is this is cross section area this is you know a change in its length you can say that okay so y square da means m to the power 4 m means meter that means this is moment of inertia and this is m so we can send this i to this side so m by i is equal to e by r and from this equation we can we know that e by r is equal to sigma by y so this is the what is this this is bending equation so it took only about 9 to 10 minutes to understand its bending equation so what's important let's revision this and uh, we'll end up here so what you got here m by i so sigma y y is equal to e by r is equal to m by m by i so this is the relation which is bending equation and uh, most important thing what i was sharing with you most important thing is diagram first second these assumptions 
because without assumptions you cannot derive the equation so this is all about Benny equation I hope you understand now it is not going to uh, trouble you anywhere I hope so I uh, I can only guess that okay so what you are thinking about this uh, Benny moment equation just let me know through comment thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye